Hi, my name's Annie. I'm from the events team and I'm the wedding and events sales executive here at Asher House. Today you're joining me in the Victorian fernery of the house and I'm going to share with you a little bit more about our intimate wedding experience in here as well as a larger wedding experience in here. We've worked with um, two suppliers in this space today, um, Luna Event Styling and Nevi Pie Cake Design. So first of all, um, we've worked with Nevi Pie to create this botanical um, style cake to match the interiors of this room. There's a lot of history from this room. Um, it was the original Victorian fernery and there used to be a uh, pond in the middle of this room. And then we've got aloe vera plants in here. We've got cacti. So we've worked with Nevi Pie to create this really natural organic style of cake. Um, as well as the rest of the um, styling in this room, um, Luna Event Styling have dressed the space for 20 guests today, but the fernery is licensed for up to 90 guests. Um, so today it's a small intimate scenery, so we've got some nice LED candles on the floor, we've got some beautiful foliage, and then um, the team have set up the registry desk just at the front here. Um, you can either have your registry desk at the front, in front of all these beautiful botanical um, plants, or you can have it just as this at the side just here so um, the the team here have um, selected some beautiful um, green botanicals to go with the room um, as well as some more lanterns and candles as well so it creates this really natural um, style um, and environment for this space not only is this space used um, as a ceremony room, you can also have a drinks reception down here. So once you've had your beautiful ceremony of either a small wedding of maybe 20 or 30, or even a larger wedding of 60 or 80 or so, you can then enjoy a drinks reception on the private gardens just in front of the space as well. The fernery is a hidden space within our grounds and it is just a short walk from our main house. It's beautiful um, to wander through the grounds to get to the fernery and your friends and family will have a beautiful view of the main house as they make their way to the fernery. The bride then makes her way and on her way to the fernery, the photographers get the most beautiful shots of her outside on the south lawns in front of the uh, main terrace. So there's so many opportunities for photographs on the way to the fernery. So now we're going to make our way to the main house so I can show you the dining space as well as a drinks reception space for your small or large wedding. So we're now here in the loggia, and to get to the loggia from your ceremony um, in the fernery, you've got two options. You can either walk through the main house, or if the weather allows, you can walk along the south terrace and then the Italian terrace and arrive on the Italian terrace in the gardens into the loggia area. Today we've set up the space with soft furnishings. So you've got two large sofas, um, some armchairs, which is lovely for your drinks reception. And then we've got our large wooden doors here in the loggia, which are such an amazing photo opportunity for your cake cutting, or maybe a band and some music. And today we've worked with Rebecca Masala Weddings, where she's provided her beautiful blossom tree, and then another cake from Needy Pie Designs. This space is amazing for live music because you've got all of the plaster work and the stone, so it really holds the acoustics. So for your drinks reception or canapes, this is a really beautiful area. And what's even better about this area is then you move on into the dining space, which is just attached here with the old library. And today this is set up for 50 guests banqueting style. So in here, we've worked with um, Luna Event Styling, um, where they've dressed the tables today for banqueting style for up to 50 guests. Although today is 50, we can go up to 60 guests on dining rounds for dining, um, but today we thought it'd be lovely to show banqueting style. The team at Luna Events Styling have chosen some accents from the ceilings of the gold and the chandeliers and used a really lovely um, charger plate as well as um, some candlestick holders and then gone down a really beautiful natural dried flower route for the flowers on the tables. The loggia really brings in a lot of light into this space. So the light floods in, which means the photography in this um, room is really beautiful and very minimal um, little elements of candlelight works also really well with the light from the loggia. 
Because of the tall ceilings and the amount of glass and the length of this room, banqueting style is really lovely in this room. I also really like what Lunar Event Styling have done here with the different heights of the flowers and it just brings the space really nicely together. Now we're going to move into the Hoskins room where we're going to talk about the East Wing experience. Hi, I'm Ella. I'm one of the sales and events coordinators here at Ashridge House. I'm really excited to tell you about the brand new intimate wedding. This starts within the Hoskins room that we're in at the moment. You can see it's one of the most romantic rooms in the house. Speaking of the blue and the white and it's really typical Italian design. What we love the most about this room is that it's never really used for events. This is something that we're starting out to do right now. The Hoskins room is really where the intimate wedding started at Ashridge. It's such a beautiful, intimate, romantic room and we wanted to optimise it as much as possible. Although that Ashridge is known for the larger weddings that come through our doors, we wanted to create a package, especially in light of recent events, that cater to the smaller weddings and the more intimate couples who just want their close friends and family around them. The room itself is really rich in Italian design. It was designed by James Wyatt, who was a Regency designer for King George, and also Lady Marion Orford, who has her own room dedicated in the house. The room itself is so romantic, and we wanted the big event to be in this room for a particular reason. Not only because of how the room looks, but also because of this gorgeous fireplace that we have behind us. It acts as a really gorgeous focal point for you and your partner to get married in front of. The beautiful thing about the Hoskins room, especially for the bride, is that she can still make an entrance for all of her guests. And also, once the bride and groom are married, they can exit together as man and wife. From here, they would lead their guests to their reception area. This is our Bonalore room, which is used as the drinks reception or an option for your drinks reception space. Just after you've been married, you'll just take a short walk down our east wing and then you can collect here with your friends and family and have a glass of champagne together. The lovely thing about the east wing is that you have beautiful views of the Italian gardens just outside the window. After you've had your drinks reception, you can move through to your wedding breakfast, which is lovely because it's right next door in our Windsor room. The Windsor room is the room we chose for the wedding breakfast purely because of the beautiful views, the same as the Bonalore. The lovely thing about the Windsor room is the choice of setup. We have a banquet table here, which is set up for 18. However, we can do up for 30 people on dining rounds. The tablescape was designed by one of our resident suppliers, Duchess and Butler. All of the floral designs you've seen today are from our resident florist, Rebecca Masala. The Windsor Room gets its namesake from Elizabeth Windsor, who has a gorgeous portrait just behind me. The house has so much royal history, and that's really what makes it so unique. I'm so happy you've seen the intimate wedding at Ashridge House, and we look forward to seeing you soon.